but it's nice to have you here. My understanding that it's the last last hurrah for you guys, last opportunity. So welcome uh, to, to the board meeting. Um, there's a special treat tonight, and I just want to read something um, about the board. It is Board Recognition Week, and I don't know if you know about the Board of Education, but this is a volunteer, voluntary job, and they put uh, really endless hours into um, making the school as great as I can for you. So I'm going to read something, and then we have a kindergarten class come in to sing to the Board of Education to say thank you. And they're going to squeeze in right here, um, but once they hear your applause, they'll come in. <laughs> <laughs> Lansing School Board members are elected to a three-year term by district residents and receive no compensation. Our BOE members generously volunteer their time and energy to improve the education offered to students in the Lansing Central School District in a fiscally responsible and equitable manner. Their tasks are substantial. They work together to establish a vision for the education program, design a structure to achieve that vision, craft policies, listen to student and staff concerns, assure you that schools are accountable to the community, and strongly advocate for the willing, uh, for continuous improvement in student learning. School Board Recognition Week provides a time to show appreciation for their willingness to tackle the numerous challenges of public education. Thank you to all the Lansing Central School Board current members and past members. Uh, thank you so much for all you do for us in our Lansing community and our Lansing School District. And we are very, uh, very pleased to have a kindergarten class here, and Mrs. Howell is going to be leading them uh, tonight, if she could squeeze through. Hey, everybody. And we're going to be rude and thank the board because we want to say thank you to our board. So kindergarten, we're going to spread right across here. I think we might even be able to do one line today. Let's see. Practice with two. Here, you're going to face this. the school board which does so much work for all of us <coughs> and to show our appreciation we're going to sing three short but great songs for you I'm guessing you'll recognize some of them remember our first one boys and girls yes. all right wait for the little <laughs> piano introduction first oh yeah can you sing Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Mrs. Howell. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. Thank you, Mrs. Howell. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. We are going to kick off our board meeting now. Uh, President Akabuchi is tonight filling yeah. in, and we'll start the board meeting. Just so you know, that is how we start every board meeting, so come, <laughs> please come. Well, welcome to this board meeting. Um, you probably don't remember you when you were that age, but we parents certainly <laughs> do. So it's really nice to have the 12th graders and the 5th graders all in the same room singing the same song. Um, uh, I just want to point out before we get started that we were just looking around to see how many members are here. We are a seven member board and three of us are missing right now. So if too many board members are missing, we don't have what's called a quorum and we would not be able to have this meeting. Luckily we do have a quorum, we have our four members here. So I would like to call this meeting to order and our first uh, matter of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Okay, um, just to draw your attention, there have been two minor changes to the agenda. Um, on the personnel report, that's item uh, number seven, and change in hours, item number two. Um, so could I have a motion to approve the amended agenda? So moved. I second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? That passes for zero, zero. Uh, the next item on our agenda is community input. This is the point um, at which uh, anyone who would like to address the board can let us know that and if you could please use the microphone that is located right up here. And where, Chris, where would you like them to stand if they do? Right up here. Okay. Would any, anybody have something to say to us? Sure. I didn't know there was one over there. I know 
all of you. It's done. Wait. So many things are happening. Is it on? It's not on. No. Now it is. It's on. My name is Emery Yakabuchi. I know everyone over here and some people over here. Those of you who know me, know me well, know that I have type 1 diabetes and I've had it since I was in second grade. I'd like to tell you all that November is Diabetes Awareness Month. And so to kick off the month, I'd like to raise awareness for type 1 diabetes because it's something that affects me and it is a really devastating, awful disease. So, as you may have noticed, I have emailed you all on your school emails about something called a thunderclap. Now what that is, is the Junior Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation is trying to raise awareness for type 1 diabetes. And I know that we all go on Facebook all the time, unless you don't use social media, and we see all these things all the time. Now what the thunderclap will do is it will make one message rise above all of the social media hubbub that you see every day. And what JDRF is trying to do is make so many people join in on this collective message that it's almost impossible to not see this diabetes awareness message. And so if you check your email, then you'll see that I've included a link to JDRF's website where you can join in on this cry for awareness. And you may be going, yeah, well, I don't really know anything about diabetes and I don't really see anything wrong with you, Emery, when I see you. It doesn't look like you're sick. It doesn't look like you're hurting or anything. So what's the point? But it really is not so great to have this di disease. Um, when I was diagnosed, I was really too little to understand what the heck was going on. But it's not so great. I have to check my blood sugar all the time. I have to take shots. I have to think about it all the time. There's not one second where I'm not thinking about having diabetes. And it's hard. You might not see it when you look at me. I look pretty healthy. I run cross country. I do all my schoolwork, and I look, I like to think I look okay. So you might not see it, but it's hard. And when I was diagnosed, I was little. So many of these kids that have diabetes can be born with it. They grow up with it their whole lives. I've had it for 10 years now, and it's, it's hard. So personally for me, if you guys were to check your emails, even if you don't use social media, it's still easy to go, hey, I have a friend with diabetes, and she's trying to raise awareness. So if you could go to this website, if you could spread the word about diabetes, that would mean the world to me. And I know that if I was in second grade still, and I was still that little kid who didn't know what was going on, and I didn't know I had to take shots or check my blood sugar, if people had done something like this for me, it would have changed my world. And it will still help me out a lot. It will mean a lot to me if you guys were even to just check that email, to just go to that website. So that's what I'd like to say to you. And I might be um, starting a sort of, um, I guess, donation-based thing in a high school where you'll be able to buy, purchase um, a, what will be a sneaker for what's a walk for diabetes. So you'll be actually donating to a research foundation that will help research diabetes. And it might not seem like a lot. It might seem like a tiny thing to just put thing on, something on your Facebook page, but it would mean the world to me. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, Emery? The thunderclap is next week, right? Right. It'll, it'll be on November 1st. There's only one shot to do it, and it starts November 1st. Okay. Thank you. Um, is there anyone else who would like to say something? My name is Ella, and I'm in third grade. I am here to let you know that November is Diabetes Awareness Month. A student in my class has diabetes. Her name is Novea. Our class is doing a fundraiser to help people like Novea who have diabetes. I care about diabetes because my grandma and grandpa had diabetes and I want to help people with it. You can go to the website JDRF dot org to find out more information. 
Thank you for listening, and please donate money for people with diabetes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just had a quick website I want to sh uh, share with you because I have been working with Ella Emery and a uh, third grade teacher. And we did include the website right on the district homepage right here. So you can click on it and you can uh, watch a video about uh, National uh, Diabetes Awareness Month. And you can also, if you click the link, um, you can go for the Kids Walk, and this is R.C. Buckley's specific page, and you can donate uh, to the walk, and the, it looks like their goal is $4,000. This just came up today, so they'll be sharing it with the, uh, the district and the elementary school, and I believe they're doing a, a building-wide uh, walk at the elementary school. And you can also, from this site, um, if you get to uh, JDRF, and you can specifically get to the thunderclap as well uh, just so you sign up I did this myself it took about it took less than a minute so you know some of you know the Twitter feed I have on November 1st it'll automatically do it for me and it's just really about awareness so I appreciate Miss Bryce and the uh, students for um, bringing the awareness up to us so thank you okay. thank you Chris <laughs> is there anyone else who would like to speak to the board Okay, thank you. Um, next up on the agenda is the communications section of the board meeting, and first up on that is the superintendent's report. Okay. And there are now a couple chairs. <laughs> you guys want to squeeze into them? So this is the board agenda. It's on the board uh, website. Uh, my the uh, written statement about the report that I'm about to give is up there. You're welcome to go to that. I included, I believe you also have it in front of you. Um, you have the October events with our meeting schedule. And uh, it, I wanted to remind you, they ex actually extended the update for the statewide school fi um, de deadline for the statewide school finance consortium, which will be was supposed to close today, but now they're, I think it's like November 3rd. So there's different dates. If you're interested in attending them, just let um, Debbie Todd and, or I know, and we'll, we'll get you set up. I did attend with a few board members the uh, annual NISBA uh, convention this past weekend, and uh, we've, we have lots to share that we'll do uh, later when we do a report to you, a larger report. But I just wanted to let you know that the overall message from um, NISBA is one that we need to continue to fight for public education. Two, we need to continue to fight for equitable public education and, and specifically equitable funding. So we, we're finding that schools are funded very uh, unequally and uh, we fall into that uh, category where unfortunately our um, tax, our residents and uh, businesses are paying more than some areas and we're trying to work out that. Uh, but th the really nice message from all the speakers was uh, about making sure that we continue to focus on educating all students equally and having the same expectations for all students. That we don't change our expecta expectations based on uh, income status or race or gender, that we, have, uh, that we maintain expectations uh, high and that we continue to focus on student achievement and experiences for kids. So it was a nice message and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to, to attend. On the back of your, oh, I'll talk about that. That's what we'll, uh, we'll talk about, uh, a board report. That's the, uh, uh, just some information for you for um, when we do our talk about finances. Uh, and just, we have the middle school musical coming up. It's in your dates, but I just wanted to give a plug for that. That is the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to attend that as well. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Chris. Next up on the agenda is the school board administrator, uh, administrator's report. Is that business administrator? Right. Yes. Okay. That's me. Um, just a couple of quick things. The state aid was completed, so we got everything in well under the line on that. And uh, I won't expect to have an understanding of what state aid we'll receive this year until mid to late December. Uh, but based on the information that I was able to input and the treasurer was able to input. Uh, we did have a successful pilot negotiations yesterday. And this was with the full um, uh, uh, county team as well as the folks representing the power plant uh, once again I just want to bring to your attention that it's a really nice process uh, it's a very friendly process this is not a hard-hitting negotiations this is everybody really looking to do what's best for everybody 
So that's a, a, a real pleasure to participate in something like that. And again, we're grateful to the county for allowing us to participate in that type of activity. I wanted to remind you about the TST BOCES having the transportation rodeo for special education purposes. It's on Saturday, November 8th. It'll start at 9 a.m. and go till I think about 2, maybe 3. Um, I'll make sure that we send out information to you prior to that. It's not really intended for a lot of public participation, but I, I know that board members and administrators and faculty members are welcome to, to come and cheer on. We have three teams going from the Lansing Transportation Department, so that'll be a great opportunity for us to showcase their talents. And where, where is that going to That's be? That's going to be on the TST campus, okay. at the main campus. Um, <coughs> the, the uh, last thing I need to talk to you about is there are two MOAs before you tonight, memorandums of understanding. Uh, the one is with the LSSA, actually they're both with the LSSA, and the one that's unique is the one that has my name specifically. We've never done that in the past. When there's been a sick bank created for a member of that group, uh, I've just gone to my HR person and said take some of my days and, and turn them over. Our labor relations uh, attorney recommended mm -hmm. that we have this in writing and that we start to follow this protocol. So that's why you see that unique MOA before you tonight. And that's all I have. Well, and um, just to for you to note, we do have our boards um, set up over there for our referendum that will be on December 9th. At our next board meeting, we'll be doing a full presentation again uh, as we get a little closer to go through all the details of that, uh, but that's our capital project. The one thing you do not see on that that we're getting new boards made was the exact amount, <coughs> and it's a $6.45 million project. Again, there's no additional taxes. We're stabilizing our budget, which is a great thing. We're, uh, we're able to do that uh, due to um, some debt falling off. Uh, so we uh, will have them available for people. There are posters at the, uh, right at the door there that you can <coughs> grab one to learn a little bit about the project before our, our presentation. Could you remind us, is the voting going to take place here? The voting will take place, here, place here, and it will be paper ballot. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like a regular. Okay. Yeah. Is there information on the website about that? Or how I'm do not we sure. Let, how do we let check that? And if not, we'll get it on the website. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. Thank yeah. You. As we get closer for all those deadlines, we'll send out a school messenger alert to all of our residents uh, in school community and out of the school community. And, and students who are 18 years old can vote on that. Absolutely. Project. Any uh, students that are 18 can, can vote. We encourage you to vote on, on Tuesday as well. There is something, just as a quick note, there's something called the Smart Schools Bond Act that's on that you'll be voting for on uh, November 4th. And that is uh, technology for schools, technology money for schools. If that gets approved, uh, Lansing has available to, to us uh, about seven, well, just under $700,000 for technology infrastructure and uh, other things so that's something we're waiting for and the minute on Wednesday, on, uh, Wednesday we'll be planning for a technology project or not so we'll, but we have been doing some pre-planning already okay All right okay thank you and thanks for bringing that up Karen mm -hmm. um, I don't know of any Board of Education reports but do does anybody have anything any meetings that they've been to or anything they want to report on yet this we did have a uh, technology committee okay. meeting. Okay, all right. Um, I'll just give you the highlights. We, we spoke some about the, um, the smart schools bond that Chris just mentioned. And we talked a little bit about what some of that money might be used for um, throughout the different buildings. Um, that went on for a little bit, for a little while here. Let me see, I'm just checking. Um, the updates on the 2014-2015 projects. Uh, pretty much everything has been done and received. Um, they were waiting for some network equipment that was supposed to come, I think, pretty much that day or the next day. Um, so there's a little discussion around that. We had some discussion around uh, bring your own devices and Chromebooks and those kinds of things. Um, let's see. The new stations for the food service project were all completed. Um, and the upcoming projects were for mostly security, buzzers and cameras and all those kinds of things that are um, uh, on their way. Uh, I know Chris did mention that even though the stuff may get here and be installed, um, there will be a rollout and communications and all that before it's actually put into use. Um, 
And that was pretty much it. There, there was a little bit of a mention, I guess, that the state went from 12 people processing requests down to four. So the last three orders we had, there was a nine-week delay. So there could still be some, some delays. But I think Fred had uh, talked a little bit about a streamlined process that he had that, that might help speed things along. So that was, that was, pretty, that was the gist of it. And just a quick question, if the smart bond does go through, would that help offset some of the expenses for safety too, or does it have to be used for certain? It, absolutely. We're looking at um, possibly even having some placeholders for some of the things that are in this current project. Uh, all, uh, we have a lot of safety features in, in the uh, uh, project that we're putting out to the public. So uh, we're looking at replacing some things if we can. Um, it, can I ask a question about the rollout? Mm -hmm. So if we're going to a buzzer system, will that be rolled out simultaneously in all three buildings? Abs um, I'm not sure um, because we, we really want to make sure it's done right and, and well and it, our resources are limited so mm -hmm. uh, we may start here and, and move up. I think that was the in intention when we to start in the, in the one building and then kind of see out, get the kinks kind of worked out. Um, but I'm, I'm, we haven't spent a lot of time yet talking about how. Okay. We just need to know there needs to be a lot of communication mm -hmm. beforehand. Okay. All right. yeah. Thank but you. that's a good question. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Um, now I have a question for the board. This is uh, an item that we've tabled a few times now, and that is the Board of Education <laughs> budget. And one of the reasons why we tabled it is because one of the board members who really wanted us to discuss it wasn't here. That person is not here right now. So. Um, I'm wondering, does the board want to talk, do you have a presentation for us? Or? Well, you know, I can just c quickly touch on, on um, the information and you can look at it and okay. then we can bring it up and I can give more detail to right. it later. Okay, why don't we do that? Is that all right with everybody? Mm -hmm. That sounds okay. like a good plan. And for anybody, it's also on the uh, website if you want, would like to go to it. I just kind of, no, that's okay. I just kind of went through and looked at, um, the vendors that we use the most, and you'll see, and I went through, through the years 2011, 12, 13, 14, and 15 I haven't included. Uh, we're still working on, on that. Um, uh, is it possible for us to pull up that document? It, it is. It's very difficult to see. Oh, it is. Uh, but you could, I mean, you could try. You could try. We could turn off the light. Is it too small? It's right. You see where it is, right, right there. Overview of expenses. Um, But you, but they have they better have eye. Not. They have better eyesight <laughs> than us. So, uh, so um, if you if you if you're looking at the last few years, um, we have NISBA is we we the the line where you see up top for vendors. That's mostly our conferences between three and six thousand dollars a year for NISBA conferences. That also includes our board retreat when John or when we have somebody come in to, to speak to us. Um, we also have food that we use for working meetings, for special celebrations. We do a winter uh, party for our faculty. Uh, so that's pretty minimal, actually. Materials and supplies, you'll see one year in yeah. 2012 where it was $3,000. What's that? Um, you guys didn't go crazy with materials and supplies or anything. You, we ended up installing a new sound system in the uh, uh, high school when we had our presentations in the library uh, it was also used for the library so uh, that's still there and we did bring some stuff here too for for this so that's when that was per that's the big purchase there uh, TST BOCES that's Erie one that's our policy uh, so that's something we can can look at more uh, deeply the hard part with making a change is that the numbers change mm -hmm. and we talked about that in policy committee so those are really those expenses um, and then, on top of that, if you go down below, we have salaries for sound and video production. Uh, and those where it says CNS B BA or NISBA there underneath, those are just a regular membership dues. And that is, yeah, that's where it gets really starts to get expensive. So Mary June's uh, budgeting about just under $20,000 a year for board expenses, about $10,000 for conferences, material supply. That also includes... Um, the, the photos and the golden apples we hand out for retirements, things like that, all that stuff adds up. So, uh, but the big expense for NISBA, so I was like, well, what is that for? Mm -hmm. Like, what does that give us? And that gives us uh, a voice, a lobby, 
somebody that lobbies for our, our, our region, for us, somebody that is doing all that work for, uh, for the services they get. You now, if we ask for any in, in specialty services, like somebody coming to us, that's an, an additional cost. So that's where, where we're seeing most of the schools. We are members of rural schools, um, again, and, and uh, been, did spend some time with, with uh, the director when we were at, at um, Nisba and are getting some, <coughs> some services from them. Um, so overall, your budget's about $20,000. If you really want to see each line in detail, uh, we can have that. We have all that available. Uh, but I was trying to just give an overview, overview of everything. Um, just a, a few things that we might want to consider. I know that um, we started using NISBA services for, for policy um, and that we were using both for a little while, so maybe the policy committee can revisit that. Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing is I, I've always said, oh, it doesn't cost us anything. Every time we call NISBA, it doesn't. <laughs> so I would re recommend that we all call NISBA a lot. <laughs> 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 That's exactly right. <laughs> Send That's those exactly email <laughs> messages, make the phone calls, because we're paying almost $8,000 for their yep. service. And that's pretty a yearly a yearly fee. Yeah. Okay. And one I think one thing I did notice, like with our, the cost for registration for like the NISBA annual convention, there's a reduced fee for members. Mm -hmm. And so that I guess that is one benefit of membership is that is your mic on Oh no, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> <God>. <laughs> it's on the table. Um, just one benefit of membership is that your fees to attend different NISBA or CNY SB workshops, conferences are reduced. Okay. All right. Okay, so if um, the board members who are here can look all over that information and then if we want to bring it back um, to discuss again at another board meeting, we will do that. Right? Okay, maybe if we could table it to the next one, just since yeah. uh, yeah. I Yeah, I will put it in my superintendent report. Oh, okay. good. All right, Thanks. good. Okay, thank you, Chris. I'd like to add that the, um, I don't know, Mike, but that the um, costs for the membership dues have not increased in mm -hmm. I think all of the time, the seven years I've <coughs> been paying that, that bill. So um, I think that NISBA has been very conscious of recognizing that school districts are re receiving reduced aid and, you know, have more and more revenue problems. So um, they haven't increased their fees. Mm -hmm. Can I add one more thing to you for our student? Anyone in the audience, if you're elected to be a school board member in New York State, by law, you're required to do two types of training, one on school board governance and one on fiscal um, management responsibility. So NISBA and CNYSB offer training for all school districts in your state so their board members can receive that, that required training. And it's fantastic um, because you're spending time not only, you're spending time with new board members across New York State and the opportunity to meet other board members and learn about issues across New York State and share ideas, share best practices commiserate on, you know, okay, we don't have enough funding, we don't either, how do we get more? Um, that type of thing, it's just really terrific. And it is um, New York State School Board Association. Okay, thank you. Um, next on the agenda is the approval of the consent agenda. Could I have a motion for that, please? So moved. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes. One, two, three, five, zero, zero. Uh, next on the agenda, um, under action items, is number one to approve the attached memorandum of agreement between Lansing School Service Association and Lansing School District Sick Bank Frank Carallo. May I have a motion for that, please? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Is this what you were talking about, Mary June? Okay. No discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any abstentions? Any nays? That motion passes, 5-0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, next is, uh, um, I need a motion to approve the attached memorandum of agreement between Lansing School District and Mary June King. Donate sick days to Frank Carrillo. So moved. A second. Any discussion? 
Um, Mary Jo, just want to thank you. Usually we don't have any idea who donates to the sick bank, and now that we do, I mean, we like to thank everyone who's done that in the past, but now we can kind of personalize this. So thank you for your willingness to support our staff. Thank you. Okay, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 500. Uh, lastly, to end our meeting, I need a motion to adjourn the meeting. I okay. second. Any discussion? I do have one question. Meeting to attend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I just I do have this one question. Where did these beautiful yeah. scarves come from? Okay, so we'd like to know where these came from. <laughs> oh my gosh! Why? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You have something to say? Oh, all right. Um, we do have yet to adjourn. Give us one more minute here. Um, I have an announcement on behalf of PTSO. Tanya Lawrence is the president of the PTSO, and she is at another board meeting tonight for the Lansing Community Library, so she asked me to report on her behalf. Um, save the date. Um, Tuesday, November 18th, is the first annual PTSO Health and Wellness Kickoff. It will be at 6.30 in the Lansing Elementary School gym. It's for all um, employees, students and community members living in our area and it's to promote health and wellness. There'll be vendors there um, throughout our community um, demonstrations. If you want to go to the juicing bar and taste some really delicious juice, you can come. If you want to hear a presentation about food services and why they serve the food that they do um, here in Lansing. And if you have any input on that, you can go to um, that meeting um, led by our food services department. You can play, you can have fun, and you can really just learn all about what you guys already do really well, and that's um, wellness and, um, and staying healthy. Okay, thank you, Karen. You may have missed that it was Ms. Patagrasso's family that knit these scars for the board. So that's, what, that's the kind of thank superintendent you. and family that we have in Lansing. That's all awesome. right, all in favor of adjourning, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? That motion passes 5-0-0. Thank you very much for coming.